500 bucks. You save about 1000 plus. It should work out cheaper for me. 4000. You want 5, even more. You can spend for 200 plus. 400 bucks of savings. Okay guys, so this is a quick video on uh, after I renew all three cars. So earlier on I did a video on the Aston Martin and then uh, I realized I haven't done a video about uh, my Audi and my BMW. So I renew all three cars with Evo Club Insurance this round and I just want to share with you the savings that I've gotten. Alright, so a quick recap on um, sorry, my the savings that I done with the Aston. So let's do a quick recap. As you can see on the left column is the one that is highlighted in uh, bold fonts. All right. So that was the valuation that I got for the renewal of my Aston Martin repeat. So it is the same valuation as last year. And uh, Evo Club Insurance is backed by Pacific and Orient, all right? So the valuation is 500,000, basic premium is 8,000 plus. I have 55% NCD, so it's a deduction of 4,400 plus. And payable is 3,006. This is before the addition of like windscreen or all those, those are standard prices. So there's no reduction in that. So how, how insurance is calculated is always based on your value and then there is a base premium. So um, Evo Club Insurance adjusts the base premium because you don't use your car that often. So, of course, I renew with the lowest KM, but we don't drive much now. Even if I do, I can top up any time. All right. So, a quick comparison with other insurance companies, as you can see, E Insurance, uh, the initials are real companies, but then I think is I shouldn't do, I shouldn't put their names out. You know, but you can roughly guess who they are. All right. Now, the e-insurance has a very high valuation, so I wouldn't draw a comparison with this, right? Because they value it at 63,000 more. I will compare to A insurance, which has the same valuation of 500,000, and you look at the base premium. It is on, on, on the third column, right? It is 14,800. And then, of course, if your base premium is higher, your 55% NCD is higher as well. And uh, after the deduction is 6,670 ringgit. So from here alone, I will only draw a comparison with the two that values it at the same amount, all right? And uh, you can see there is a 3,000 ringgit savings, which is 45.45% savings. That's quite a lot. And others, as you can see from the chart, 460,000, 450,000, 450,000, each is more or less thereabouts, all right? So this is for the SM Martin Repeat S, and I saved that much in this year's renewal later i'll have a chart that shows um last year's premium all right uh now i will go to the audi all right as you can see here this is the one with the audi rs6 okay so the value uh that was given by or the insured value by evil card insurance is 347,000, and out of the other companies only z insurance gives the same value 347,000 again this is the exact same value that they gave last year from another insurance company all right they value it uh, the same as you can see again on the first column you see the basic premium right 4,900 ringgit versus 10,447 ringgit that's a huge difference and of course again the NCD is 55% of that and the payable amount towards the end is only 2,200 ringgit versus two thousand versus four thousand seven hundred ringgit so here i saved two thousand four hundred plus which is fifty two percent of savings the other insurance companies that i got a quote from as you can see e insurance t insurance l insurance m r a uh, all have different values and are lower so i won't do a direct comparison with them because if it is a lower valuation your premium should be lower granted even if you look at the lowest one uh, 296,000, the basic premium is still 7,600 plus versus 4,009. So here I get a huge amount of savings as well. So um, towards later on, uh, I, will, I will put them alongside whereby I can show last year how much I renew and this year. I don't have a quote on the BMW because the BMW 
data is in ISM. So I was able to immediately go to Evo Club Insurance and then key in my data and then boom, done. All right. Uh, for those of you who went to the website and couldn't get your 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 information retrieved or there is an error message that pop up, pop up, do know this. Every single insurance company shares the same software in a way. If you come to Evo Club Insurance and you key in your plate number and you couldn't get anything, you can go to another insurance company and you wouldn't get anything as well. Why? Because all of them retrieve their data from this company called ISM. And ISM is, as, as far as I understand, they are the only company that is authorized to provide data for every insurance company to, to get their data. And ISM should really hire someone like us to update their database because there's a lot of car models that, do, that they, don't, they don't even update. In their database, right, the latest model from SN Martin is a DB7. DB7. So uh, any one of you from ISM, if you're watching this, hire us. We have the full database of every single car for sale in Malaysia. And uh, just hire us. We, we, we don't mind updating your database. You know, it's really bad. And another thing is that when you first bought a car and it's not registered, uh, the agent that helped you register who done it manually would actually want you to go back to him to renew your insurance. So some would do tricks like they spell Mercedes-Benz wrongly or uh, they, it's a C180, they put 180C, you know, so that the next round when you try to go back there and retrieve, you couldn't get it because it's not accurate. Then you go back to him and you'll do it manually again. So for those of you who come to our website, evoclubinsurance.com and you couldn't find your data, don't worry, just email us at evoclubinsurance at horizon.com. Email us with your insurance policy, all right, your registration card, and we'll have people liaise with you and help you do the rest, all right? Uh, yeah, we can help you process with that. All right, so now I'm going to do a quick comparison amongst my cars, all right? Now, I first have to say this, all right? I know there are other companies out there trying to say that, oh, you can also save 40% from their insurance, but they are using your last year's highest valuation versus this year's lowest valuation. And because of the depreciation, they claim that you get a savings of 40%. That's untrue because the only insurance company out there that has this is Evo Club Insurance. All right. Um, so maybe they are an agent as well but not, nevertheless uh, you just can't draw a comparison over last year let's say last year your car is valued at one hundred fifty thousand. this year your car is valued at one hundred and ten thousand, or the lowest you can go is 100 and last year the highest you can go is 150 you know that that you will have a 30 40 percent difference this is just a chart where i want to show uh, how much I paid last year for my cars when I check back the, the, the policy versus this year. Now, I shouldn't do that as well, but my both my cars have the same valuation because certain cars, right, they depreciate very, very slowly at a certain point in time, all right? As you can see, my BMW, uh, the valuation dropped by 12,000, so that's not a lot. Uh, whereas my Audi and my Aston, they did not they did not depreciate at all uh, in terms of value. It is still valued at the same amount. All right. So you can see a direct comparison here. Last year, I renewed my BMW with C insurance, one hundred ninety thousand basic premium four thousand four, and then payable is two thousand ringgit. And then this year, I renewed with Evo Club Insurance. Uh, my my valuation um, my my insured value is one hundred seventy seven thousand basic premium is about 3,000 ringgit, close to 3,000 ringgit. And after NCD deduction, it's only 1,300 ringgit for my BMW. All right. Whereas the Audi, last year I renewed with, I'm not renewed, registered with uh, Z Insurance um, at 347,000 valuation. And the basic premium is 10,500. Versus this year, same 347,000, 4,900. All right. And as for after NCD deduction, you can see 4,750 versus 2,237, same value. As then as well, last year was LP insurance. Some would have got it. I don't want to put L, there's another L, all right. Uh, 
500,000 valuation, 16,294, which is what I, which is the, the basic premium for last year. And uh, NCD was 8,009. And versus this year's uh, basic premium, which is 8,000 ringgit, because I got the Evo Club uh, insurance and then the payable amount. Last year, I paid 7,300 on the payable amount, right? Again, I want to mention, this is before adding in windscreen, additional driver, you know, special pearls and all that. Those are fixed fixed costs, whichever insurance you go, right? Windscreen is standard, all right? So uh, the payable amount this year is 3,006. So my, the total amount I paid last year, uh, a bit under, under payable is 14,000. And total for this year is 7,200. I saved 49%, all right? So I really want to share this to you guys because I, I really think that everybody drives less. Why pay full? You only pay more when you are about to you use up. You can top up, you know. So, yeah. Uh, if you have any queries, anything you need to know more, come to Horizon uh, Malaysia. I, I, let's put it this way. I, I'm in the car industry. I'm an advocate. You know, I don't want people to buy the wrong car. I'll give honest reviews. And I'll try to find ways to help you guys save money because car guys do that as well right uh things that are good i'll introduce to you guys and i think this is good that's why i want to push this to you guys right and uh, uh for those of you who are who aren't familiar i mean that's 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 our website all right uh yeah that's about it for this video and uh happy saving i hope you guys save some money from renewing your car insurance and um, and if you want to earn money, you can also uh, take up our Evo Club Car Wash program, which we created because so many people lost their jobs, so many people uh, lost their income. Tourism industry, you know, airline industry, cinema industry, hospitality industry, hotels, theme parks, you know, Genting, all this. So 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 many people lost their jobs. So um, we created something for people to come on board. And we understand the problem. Uh, starting a business requires a lot of capital, all right? And um, if you're out of job, you want to start a business, you need capital, all right? And some people have a job. They want to start a secondary income. They don't have the time to do it. That's why we went through, went through all the trouble to create a pairing program whereby people who couldn't afford to start their own business versus people who have a little bit of money who to start a business, we pair you guys up. We created a structure that we help you to, to monitor, nurture both parts, you know, make sure that the car wash operator is bringing in enough money for himself because the operator gets 30%, right? The, the investor gets 50%. And there's no, it's not like we collect your money, invest in our business, no. The money that you paid, the 8,000 ringgit that you paid, is all to buy the equipments. That's it, right? And um, to start it, we, we simplify everything. So, yeah, these are the things that we're doing, all right? And uh, extended warranty as well. Um, if your car's warranty has ended and you're not in the position to buy another car and you're worried with your car, come to, again, uh, club.evomalaysia.com. Come, come here, register yourself, and then there are things that you can scroll down and then you can register and get your warranty extended, all right? But unfortunately, hybrid cars are not accepted. Yeah, nobody wants to write a policy to for hybrid cars yet. All right, that's about it. That's all I wanna to share today. And uh, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I guess, what else? Nothing, right? Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,